Ravi Saraksha, I'm a doctoral student in chemical engineering and a finalist in the 2013 Collegiate Inventors Competition from MIT. So my family, like most of yours, has benefited tremendously from medical innovation. And I'd like to start with a little anecdote that begins about 10 years ago when my grandmother needed a hip replacement surgery uh, to cure pain in her leg. Uh, unfortunately, the implant failed within months after, after putting it in uh, because of rejection by the body and formation of a fibrous capsule around the implant. It turns out, I looked a little bit more into this, and it turns out she's among nearly 2 million patients that have a failed, uh, a failed implant each year, a problem that costs the, me the medical device industry and the healthcare system about $8 billion each year. And this problem really got me thinking, can we create next generation implants that can really interact with the human body and last essentially the lifetime of the patient? And as a graduate student at MIT, I've had the opportunity to develop biologically inspired humanized implants that can really bond with the existing tissue in the body and essentially last the lifetime of the patient. I've tested my invention on orthopedic implants because this is something that's really close to my heart um, and, and really found success in, in, in terms of uh, having these implants last essentially the lifetime um, in, in uh, preclinical animal models. Um, it turns out that large bone defects are also a class of uh, healthcare, uh, uh, healthcare problems that have very few uh, clinical, uh, successful clinical outcomes. Um, and so what I did was went back uh, based on the technology that I, I developed, took it a step further, and developed a solution called healers, or healing with an engineered regenerative surface. Um, essentially, this is a polymer membrane that can cover uh, a defect of, of, of any size and uh, induce the, bo the, the body's own cells uh, to, to repair uh, the defect. And I've tested this in preclinical animal models and I'm now looking to translate it into the clinic. So I'm very excited about this technology and really hope that this revolutionizes human healthcare. Thank you.